everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Today I want to tell you guys about a little story of mine in how I broke, I broke my, my back, back on a horse. On a horse. So settle in for this story time. Uh, so this event happened in year 2000 and I was a teenager and I was uh, with my friends. I was racing in a field with my one friend and being an idiot, of course, and not wearing a helmet, which is horrible. I basically should have died. Um, anyway, I was a teenager. I was racing through a field with my friend. We had already raced a couple times through this field and I kept winning, obviously. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. We, uh, my friend said, okay, well, let me go and get this other horse and then I'll beat you. But it was getting dark. Um, but you know, we were teenagers and we knew it all. So we decided to just kind of race in the dark or almost dark. So we went back to the barn and got this other horse so that she could race me on this new horse and, and win. And uh, anyway, so the race started and we're in this field getting a little dark, can't really see that well anymore. Um, and so we begin galloping and uh, my horse is winning. It was a leopard Appaloosa. My horse is winning and um, she's just behind me. My horse trips and, in his front end and goes down uh, to his knees and, and, you know, to his face, basically, because he does a somersault forward and lands on top of me. So, like I said, I'm not wearing a helmet during this time, and I very, very easily could have died. Um, so, it's not very funny or entertaining. It's quite stupid. And uh, anyway, my horse does a somersault, lands on top of me, and because my, my friend's horse is right behind us, she later tells me that she had to like jump over us while we were on the ground, this horse and I. She, she and her horse jumped over us. And uh, then she obviously stopped her horse because I didn't get up. Um, so yeah, the horse did a somersault, landed on top of me. I ended up uh, having two compression fractures in my back. So basically, if your back is built up with like building blocks, my back got smushed in two places and to like pancakes instead of those blocks, it became a pancake in a couple places in my back. And then I also uh, had two black eyes. I was unconscious and uh, just sore all over, but especially in my back. So, huh. It gets better, don't worry, the story gets better. My friends that were watching us race, they they put my sort of lifeless body, I guess, on the back of a four-wheeler, and they drive me back to the, to the house, and I sort of wake up on the four-wheeler because I'm like in agony on the back of this bouncing around four-wheeler. Um, and, uh, I don't know how, how that all happened, to be honest with you. I don't really remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we get back to the house, and I'm, like, starting to slowly remember things. But I'm still, like, so out of it. And uh, I didn't go to the hospital that day because I thought I was just sore. And, you know, teenagers, we, they bounce back from anything. They're kind of made out of rubber. But it turns out I wasn't made out of rubber, and I did break my back when I went to the hospital to the doctor the next day. So um, basically, I was out of commission for a couple months, and I had to stay in bed for a couple weeks straight while my back healed, and I had to wear a back brace. And uh, then I started riding again, and it hasn't hurt me since. So there you go. Um, basically, like I said, I should have died because I wasn't wearing a helmet. Very, very, very stupid. Near-death experience for sure. Moral of the story is to always wear a helmet. Don't be an idiot around horses. They're extremely powerful and heavy, you know, thousand pound animals or so. And uh, you could very, very easily get hurt. So always use extreme caution when you're riding a horse and um, live to see the next day like I was fortunate enough to do. 
But anyway, I thought I'd share that story with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.